five bucks profit. This is crazy. In less than 10 minutes, I found two items that sell regularly and have more than 20% margin. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my workflow and strategy and how I find products to sell on my Amazon store. Let's begin. The first thing I would like to do is to find a good seller to scrape. We will just ignore the seller here. I want to show you how I start from scratch. What I will do normally is to go to Walmart and search for an item that can be dropship. It doesn't matter if this item is profitable or not, if it does many sales or not, just a product that can be dropship on Amazon. So I like wine, so let's search for wine fridges. It doesn't really matter, I'm just picking one. Now copy the URL and go back to AMZ Scraper. Here we have a nice feature called Product Viewer. You can basically put an asin or a source and it will give you the other one. If you put an asin, it will give you the source and the opposite. If you have both, enter both. I will paste here the URL, click on view, wait a few seconds. You can see the product on Amazon and the product we entered. This is indeed the same product. Just change the shipping. As you can see, 19 sellers starting from $69.99. This is indeed the case. 19 items. These are the product's offers. From here, I'm choosing a seller that I would like to scrape. The first thing I check is the profit. I don't want so much profit like this because I won't be able to compete. I'm looking for something in this area. This also... This is a nice amount of feedbacks for a seller to scrape, but it shows us a negative profit. Some people probably have a discounted gift cards or cashback. I basically don't like to scrape sellers that sells below the break even. These are all too high to compete. If you have a successful account, of course you can scrape these sellers. This, this is a good amount of feedbacks. As you can see, this is a total feedback for a year, 90 days, and the last 30 days. He doesn't have feedbacks at all in the last 30 days. So it means that he doesn't sell regularly. We're left with this seller. It's actually the highest price seller. Usually I don't scrape these kind of sellers, but let's check this one out. Mm, because he got a nice amount of feedbacks, very high profit, he probably doesn't sell this specific item, but at least he's trying to make a nice profit. The last thing I will do is to click on the seller's name and go to Amazon. Here are his products. Usually I check a few items just to see if he's indeed selling his items from Walmart. Mm, let's check this one. Search the title on Google, go to the Walmart item, let's check if it's the same item. Mm, yes, it looks like the same product. On Walmart it's $17.96 and on Amazon it's $33.24. This looks like a good seller to scrape. Um, doesn't mess around, he's making a nice profit, even if it doesn't sell a lot, at least he's making a profit. I can try to check another item of this seller, but we can continue. This seller looks like a good seller to scrape. So what we're gonna do is to go to the seller's row and open the actions menu. Simply click on the scrape seller and fill in the scrape settings. If I'm moving too fast, you can find on each page of the software, at the top right corner, a video tutorial. Just click on the video bottom and it will open the tutorial for this page. Now, I will use my preferences to set up the scrape settings. The price margin I will set to 5 bucks, the maximum BSR below 300,000 and I would like to find source automatically. I will click scrape and let's see how it goes. 
This is the tasks page. Here you can see all the tasks that either running or pending. You can see that I have one task running, but no other task wait in the queue. While it's running, I can go to other pages and continue working, and the scrape will run in the background. I can always go check the scrape by clicking on this button. As you can see, he got 495 items. Now, the software is trying to eliminate all the items that don't fit the criteria of below 300,000 BSR. In a few minutes, it found more than 130 items that don't fit that criteria. We will wait a bit, the scrape is nearly done. I just want to clarify, it managed to eliminate 380 products that are above 300,000 BSR. Look how fast it's scraping the items. And it's done. So in a matter of few minutes, I just scrape over all of his items. Let's see what we got. I got a notification. Now, this part is very important. It found 55 products, but as you probably encountered before, you find a good product with a nice margin and not so many competitors. You try to list it and you realize that you can't because the product is gated. As far as I can tell, we are the only software that can tell you right away which items you can't list. It required a bit of manual work, but it definitely worth it. It will save you lots of time. So, 55 items. I want to leave only the items that I can sell. I will click on remove gated items. It will open up this menu. I just need to follow the steps. And the first step is to drag this button into the bookmarks bar. Step two is to click here to copy all the assins in the page. All assins were copied to the clipboard. Now open in the tab the Amazon Seller Central. Sign in. On the Seller Central, I will click on the bookmark that I just dragged to the bookmarks bar and this window will pop in. All I need is to paste all the assins display on IMZ Scraper. Click Paste. These are all the assins. Click Check for gated items. Look how fast it's going. Once it's done, I get the assins that I can't sell because they are gated. I click to copy results, click OK and go to AMZ Scraper. Step 3 is to paste here the results from the seller central. Click on remove gated items and that's it. 27 gated items were removed. It means that I just saved myself a lot of time trying to list 27 items that I cannot list. It means that these 24 products that I see now in the results, I have a few pages here, I can list all of them if I want. Now it's very simple. Click here to sort by the source price from the highest to the lowest. We have many items in red. Red means either the software didn't find the source or it found the source and it was negative profit. Let's start checking the green ones. I will check here. It's 2537 profit for the lowest offer, but we need to look carefully. This is a pack of three and this is only one. So I click on this little wrench and change the quantity to three. And this is the profit. Look how easy it is to find products with AMZ Scraper. If it will be the lowest offer, 50 bucks product, I will make more than 8 bucks profit. I can save it to the lab now and that's it. I just found this product and when I want, I will list it directly from the lab to my Amazon store.
let's go over another product. Maybe this one. This is a pack of three. This is one. I will change it again. More than eight bucks. I will save it to the lab. As you can see, there isn't much competition. I don't like it. It seems like a little bit too risky. So I will click here to delete this product. I don't want to list products that don't have any competition. Four is enough. Zero to two sales per day. I will see if there is any profit. This is a pack of four and one. Change the quantity to four. Five bucks profit. This is crazy. In less than 10 minutes, I found two items that sell regularly and have more than 20% margin. We can continue. This is six pack. This is one. I just want to make sure that this is the same item. This is from Home Depot. Hmm, yeah. Looks like the same item. I will check here to load more sources. I want to see if there is available from Walmart also. Um, no, only Home Depot. So I will click here to check how much profit for a six pack. Not much profit. Okay, so it doesn't have much profit. I'll delete the item and move on. The last one for today, mm, this one, 360 capsules. Same here. Take a look at this margin. It sells regularly. The BSR is below 200,000. It's zero to two sales per day. It's 11.48 profit if I'm the lowest offer. I'll definitely save this product. Now I will go to the lab. Here, the software saved all the items that I've found. I can list products directly to my Amazon store from here. I will choose three products and click on change price. Undercut lowest by 0 0.01 and save. Again, if it's too fast, you can click on the tutorial button to watch the tutorial on this page. As you can see, the price has been changed from red to green, indicating that if I will list the product with that price, I will be the lowest offer. Now, I will click on list selected. Another feature that makes AMZ Scraper to be so great is repricing strategy. It gives you the ability to reprice your products to be the lowest as long as you stay above the minimum profit that you can set. I don't like to sell below two bucks profit, so I will change the minimum profit to two bucks. And after I will list this item, the repricer will always make sure that I am the lowest offer. If someone will undercut me, the repricer will change my selling price to be the lowest. Again, as long as I'm above $2 profit. Choose the shipping templates, shipping delays and quantity and list. Those three products will be listed to my Amazon store. It took less than 15 minutes and I have three profitable products. Three items will be listed. This can take up to 15 minutes. Okay, same as Amazon Seller Central. I can go to my items page. This is the monitor and repricer. Those three products that I just listed are pending. The software is basically waiting for Amazon to confirm that this product is being listed. And that's it. Now you know how to start use AMZ Scraper. Hope you enjoyed the video. For more, you can join our Facebook community and like our Facebook page. You can find all the links below.